Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Senjoltis Mega Quad Oval Super Speedway, or whatever the heck it's called, we'll just call it Senjoltis. <laughs> For 11 laps of racing in the Mountain Dew Livewire 300. This is the fourth to final race on the season, race 13 overall for the truck series. Entering the race today, Daniel Bouchard of the 21 truck is the leader in the point standings. Five points over Dion Scott, 11 over Acovito. That's the top three. We've got 19 drivers within 50 points of the points leader. Looking at your starting lineup, Seth Cole, Cindy Vieira in row one. Colby Alves, Emmanuel Hartnett, row two, John Arndt, Mike Mellon, William Brock, Ace Rogers, Zachary Fitzwater, Greg Lyons. Green flag is out. 11 laps of racing here today. Who is going to win it? Been a while since the truck series came here. I don't know when the last time it was they even did come here. That high line's getting a good run though. Cindy Vieira to the race lead. Is the high side gonna be the way to go here tonight at San Joltis? As these drivers are hitting their top speeds now. About 200 miles per hour. Two hundred four, two hundred and five, maybe. There's Danny Bouchard, twenty one truck. He's down on the bottom. You can see it will be difficult to gain ground here tonight. Colby Alves going to peek to the inside of the 28 truck. As you can see now that they're up to speed, that inside line is starting the work. Forty trucks in the Vieira still in the lead. They're about to go three wide for second. That's Tony Green. All the way to the bottom. Green coming off of a win at Richmond. He's won two of the last three races. Hartnett, though, gets back in line in second. It looks like it's going to be very difficult for these guys to pass anybody here tonight. Restarts could come into play if there's a caution. Right now the 40 and the 28 are pulling away from the rest of the field. Two laps down. Still got a ways to go. And Dylan Young pointed out something interesting to me the other day about getting six wide here. I see some four wide. I see some five wide, but they're not going too crazy here in the truck series. Nobody appears to be on a giant rush to make any crazy moves and cause a caution. Back up to the front. Hartnett's going to lose second place. Tony Green will move up to second. As it looks like that outside line is better than the bottom 40 of Cindy Vieira still maintaining the lead here. She's not having much 
trouble with the drivers behind her. Seth Cole, the pole sitter, has managed to stay up here at the front. Doing a very good job here. But that 40 truck is out front and staying strong as Emmanuel Hartnett will peek back down to the low line. If you get the right run, it seems that low line will work for you. Seth Cole now all the way to the bottom, but I think he got himself loose. He's losing speed. Look at Nick Pericles all the way up top. Oh, look out, look out. That's contact being made there between Kesey and Michael Cavanero. Remember, 19 out of the 42 drivers is under 50 points behind the leader. Actually, the 19th person in points is 46 back. So they're all within range of making up huge ground. Where's that 21 truck listed right now? There he is. Bouchard is was listed 7th last time. He's outside the top 10 now, I would think. Then where's Dion Scott? Scott's outside the top 20. And then where's Acovito? He is also like, he's right there with Dion. Pericles is 4th in points, I think. If we could find the 14 truck here. He's back here. And then the last truck was Logan York. And actually, he's right there on the top side. As they almost went five wide. Now, who is that truck that we see all the way in the back there? That is the 11 of Sean Harple. Sean has lost the draft. And uh, unless he gets a caution, he might be, he might be uh, out of luck here. Cindy Vieira in that 40 truck's hanging on strong. Gadu has moved up the third. He's going to pull out a line. Here comes Michael Cavanero. Tony Green, Seth Cole. These two are the ones that have won in the past three races. 98 won back at Homestead. 88 won at Texas World and Richmond. Cindy Vieira trying to become the third driver to get two wins on the year for the truck series. She won back at Atlanta. So far in the cup series, we've only had two drivers do that. Those drivers being Sam Rogers and Kerry Davis, who are both in the chase. By the way, I, don't, I forgot to mention at the end of Road America that Davis is locked into round three. So far, everybody's doing a good job here in the Truck Series race, but it looks like the 40 finally got some competition. As Cameron Gadu is down low, but not getting enough of a push. Fierro falls back to the bottom, but Seth Cole and Tony Green have used that outside line to get an advantage here. Fifty-four with the best lap of the race, but it's a super speedway. And I would think Sean Harple is begging for a caution right now. He does not want to finish back there in 42nd. Anyway, as we come to five laps to go, we're going to take our one and only break and be back for more crazy racing. Back here at St. Joltas as they're going to come to four laps to go. Harple has lost the draft and uh, yeah, <laughs> he is dropping. 
Not enough laps for the leaders to catch him, but uh, he's going like 189 here. He's like five seconds off their pace. So they won't catch the 11 truck, but if the race was long enough, they would. Oh, yeah, look at that. That was like a seven to eight second drop right there. <laughs> Cindy Vieira still the leader. Scarlett Rich is up to second. You can see Seth Cole, Cameron Gadu still battling here. Dylan Young has made his way up to the front with help from the 92 of Grayson Acevedo. Logan York also up here. Some drivers that are in the top 10 in points. Trying to get to the points lead. Dion Scott has made it up to the front. We can see the 21 truck is all the way back there in the back of the field. Seth Cole looking maybe for a move to the outside. He got a good run there. There goes Scarlett Rich. Gadoo's going to go with the 13 truck. Could this finally be a battle for the lead? Here comes Logan York in the 02 with a heck of a run. And for the first time today, lead change. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Wow! Second leader of the race, Scarlet Rich in the 13 truck. They're getting a good run on the outside, though. Now, Gadoo's got to make it three wide. Now, Mike Mellon's going to make it four wide. But Cindy Vieira's going to clear them all and duck back down to the bottom. She's going to lose draft, though, that way. Logan York's trying to go all the way down. He's a little wary, though. He doesn't want to cut down in front of anybody. Scarlet Rich showed that you could make a last lap pass on this track now. That 40 truck is just so strong. It's getting a little tight back there. Looks like maybe some four wide action all around. Maybe even some five wide. That's yeah, getting a little dangerous. Two laps to go here at San Joltis. In the Mountain Dew Live Wire 300. Vieira has been dominant the whole night. Logan York's second. Gadu is third. There's Dylan Young. Nicholas Samudio has made his way up here. Young's going to get a good push, though. They're going to try to get by the 29. You can see people are working all over the place here, trying to get back to the front, trying to get a good points day. Logan York right now, probably really happy with where he's running. He's probably going to try to hopefully stay up here. He wants to get a good finish here. They hit the white flag. The race would end on their checkers or wreckers. Either or. Out of turn three. Fiera's just been impossible to pass for these drivers. Lord York's looking down there, but Dylan Young's going to peek to the outside. They've settled down. White flag in the air in the Mountain Dew Live Wire 300. Does anybody got a shot to make a move on the 40 truck? Pericles and Goldberg are going to go to the inside of the 02. No, Goldberg peeks back to the outside. Sam Rogers, Wade Brummer moving it up through here. It's 
Looks like we're going to have a nice caution-free race here. They went through two. They're going to head into turn three. One more corner after this one. Does anybody got anything for the 40 truck? Out of three. On the final straightaway before turn number four. Does anybody make a move? Nobody has yet. York's looking on the inside again. Here comes Logan York. Does he have enough draft help? It doesn't look like he's going to get any. Checkered flag and waving. Sydney Vieira wins the Mountain Dew Live Wire 300. Absolutely no draft help for Logan York when he peaked to the bottom. Pericles is going to get second. Goldberg third. York's going to fall to fourth. Wade Brummer fifth. Sam Rogers sixth. Samudio seventh. Lions eighth. Gadu ninth. And Scarlet Rich will finish in tenth. That was a pretty good caution free race, I must say. It'll be interesting to see how the cup drivers do here tomorrow night for 21 laps of racing. That'll be the Mountain Dew 600. That is the second elimination race of the chase. I will see you guys then. Hope you enjoyed the race tonight. And congrats to Cindy Vieira on the win.